Stampers and Crafters. I'm Tammy from stampwithtammy.com and it is a very blustery New England day outside. We're actually preparing for Christmas right now and I was actually just thinking ahead and thinking I have not done my Christmas cards yet so I'm just I'm, I'm kind of kind of giving up on that. So as many cards as I've designed and shared I haven't actually made my own yet so I'm starting to think about different ideas and possibly maybe even a New Year's card idea and I came up with this card which was super fun it could be great for New Year's it also could be great for a black tie event a party a special birthday just really love the little tuxedo and the celebrate and I'm thinking the design might work a little better for me for my holiday cards because I am really really late this year and who doesn't want a New Year's card right so to make this card, we're going to play with a little heat embossing and we're going to play with the Stampin' Up! Envelope punch board to create this bow tie. It's super easy and really, really fun. You are going to flip over this. All right, let's get started. Okay, we are having a black tie affair. It is so adorbs. We've got a white card base so you can print anything you want on the inside if it's an invitation or even if it's just a celebration card. We'll be starting with our heat embossing and as always you can find the PDF file for this project including the measurements and all of the supplies that I used available in my online store simply by going to this URL clicking in the link in the description below or if you're on YouTube click right on this video. We're taking Versamark which is a watermarking ink pad and my my celebrate words come from the and many more stamp set from Stampin Up, which is awesome because you can swap those words out for any one of these to make this an all occasion card. So we're going to ink up our stamp and stamp it towards the bottom in the center. Taking some white embossed powder, pour that right over there. I'm just got I've got some scrap paper underneath just to collect the excess. Flick off any excess. Be taking our handy dandy heat tool and doing one of my favorite things, heat embossing. We want that to be nice and bold and stand out. Isn't that awesome? Celebrate. Next, we'll be using two of the banner framelits. Going from the smallest to largest, these are number four and number five. This is our Big Shot die cut machine with the magnetic platform, one cutting pad. You can do both framelits at the same time on some Whisper White, place a second cutting pad on top and crank it through the Big Shot. And yes, it's supposed to make these noises. Using some snail adhesive, I've attached the top panels to the card base and I will be attaching the bottom white panel to the card base. And then we'll be using Stampin' Dimensionals to attach the second banner panel over the top so it pops up a little bit. Next, we'll be making the bow tie the, and the bow tie design was inspired by Dye Barnes. It's really easy to do. I'm actually going to use the the envelope punch board because I want the shape that it gives when you're punching the envelope. Again, these measurements are on my blog. I'm taking the largest black strip over to the two and a half inch mark, and then I'm just punching down once. See that shape? That's what I'm looking for. Going to flip it over and do the exact same thing on the other side. The medium sized black piece I'm going to put through at one and a quarter and do the same thing. So it too has that fun little shape to it. We want to go back to this big piece. I, I started to cut it with the corner rounder and remember that's not what we want to do. We're actually going to put the big piece in and we're actually going to notch only half of the top so it looks like that on each of the four corners. And we'll use the corner rounder on the medium sized piece. So we're just going to round those corners. So it looks like this. Then we're going to take a bone folder and just loosen up the fibers on this larger piece. This is going to help it curl. And we're also going to do that on this little strip. Okay, so the next step is really easy. We're just going to make a bow out of the larger piece with the mini glue dots, just sticking those in the center. I didn't, I didn't flatten it totally, but I did kind of squash it down a little bit. And then we'll take a mini glue dot and stick that to our bottom piece. And then we'll just attach the st strip around with some mini glue dots as well. And it's, it is a little long, so we can trim it down. 
pretty flippin' cool, right? <laughs> that is just awesome. And it's so easy to do. I'm attaching the bow tie to the card with some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. I'm just gonna put that up in the center. And for our finishing touch, we're using some of Stampin' Up's White Perfect Accents. These are the best. This, look at how easy this one. <laughs> this is so easy. Literally, these are just peel and stick. One on the bottom, one on the top. And line one up in the middle, and it's complete. I'm having, I have New Year's in mind right now because it's December, but really, this could be good for so many fun occasions. Be sure to visit my blog for daily inspiration and hundreds more video tutorials. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah.